doing it. Okay, the Lanny Wolf story. So, I'm in the, uh, I'm in his office, and he, uh, he calls me in, and he, and there's a, there's a piano in there, and he starts playing, and I start singing. And I'm standing right next to, to him, and I'm, I belt it out. And I, I felt like I really put on a hell of a performance, you know. I don't know what the song we sang, what I sang was, but I mean, I almost feel like belting one out for you right now, but it would pro I haven't sang in years, and I, I'm just afraid it would be offensive to you. But, <clears throat> uh, and I'll probably get flagged for copyright. Um, when I was just a child, I heard the beautiful story. That's a little pitchy, but I'm just going to keep moving. How he loved me so. He died on Calvary. But, shit, I can't remember the word. <laughs> but, uh, da, da, da. for he, for you're still Lord. This is the chorus. You're still my father. In little or much, I still feel your touch. Cause you're still Lord. And you're still Lord. Yes, the song is ironic. You're still my father. You'll always be mine for all of time. Cause you're still Lord. Something like that. I don't know. That's not the song I sang, but that's the one that's in my mind. There you go. Maybe God's talking through me. Maybe I'm still His. I'm okay with that. That would that would actually be very comforting to know. Either way, I'm okay. But so I'm in there in His office. I'm actually embarrassed about that. What I just sang because that's not. I can sing way better than that. I'm in His office, and He's playing the piano, and I'm tearing it up. I I'm tearing up something, and well, it went great. He stands up, uh, and I, there's no possible... I would have to do this to you for you to understand how bizarre and how uncomfortable this had never... Nothing even similar to this. I've never... I'm just... I'm a lucky kid, I guess. I've never been touched in any way. I've never been messed with in any way. I, I've never... I've never had... You know, I just never had any weird thing, you know, as a kid, you know, as an innocent person. I had never, as an adult, I've invited lots of weirdness into my, I'm, that's a joke. I, I, but there's, I, okay. Never had anything like this happen. I stand up, he stands up, and he says, okay, well, let's, you know, let's pray. You got to... You got to end everything with prayer when you're when when you're the kind of when you're the Christian that that I that I was. I want to say when you you know I don't want to make a blanket statement. I everywhere I went that you just got to end stuff with prayer. So we stand up and he hugs me. Now I want to stand up and I want to hug you and I want to bring you guys right into like right here, right on my face, right in my ear, right in my eye, right up my nose, right in my mouth. Ah, I want in my ear. I we we're hugging. And I've been singing, I'm animated, I'm, I'm pumped, I can tell, I knew I brought it home. I knew! I killed it! But this was weird, this was a little creepy. We're in an office, there's people, you know, out the door, of course, but they're not going to walk in. And the office was weird. It was like, there were like dead animals everywhere. It was like, I felt like I was on a safari in his office. It was like eating at... Uh, you know, the Animal Planet restaurant or something. I mean, it was like, uh, it was, it, there was like a zebra skin rug. It was exotic. It was weird. Well, now that we know he's gay, it all makes sense. That's a joke. But, um, do I really have to keep saying that's a joke every time I make fun of a gay person? Because I've been made fun of Christians all night long and I never said it was a joke. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to, light. I'm trying to, okay, so, we're in there. And we're hugging, and we're real, real close. And he keeps adjusting his body. <laughs> he keeps like, 
You know, and it's it's not like he's grabbing my ass. It's not like our dicks are rubbing up against each other. I, I at least not that I remember. I just remember like I could smell his, you know, his cologne or whatever, and and just his his wet pasty face against mine, and he's the president of my freshman class. He's an authority figure in my life. He's the gateway to success in Bible college. He's the freshman class advisor, and I'm the president. Well, I don't think I was the president yet. And we're hugging, and there's no way I'm going to, like, now, if he would have take it any further maybe and and yes we did sleep together so you're gonna I know that that'll happen later and I slept with him the guy I told you there's another guy he's in this story too we slept with Lanny together this is his story too we're hugging and, and he keeps like adjusting his body I'm adjusting my body I'm standing there kind of rocking back and forth like how long is this going to go on and I don't know if he's praying out loud. You know, that's the great thing about Christians. You know, boy, they love to really tell you. you they, oh, Heavenly Father, my brother Paul, he's, uh, oh, my God. We just want to see, uh, you know, your work done, Lord Jesus. We, uh, uh, we want to, we just, oh, hallelujah, brother. Um, we just want to make sure that to God be the glory. His kingdom is, uh, woo, you know, it's all of that bullshit. That's Oh my God, I'm already at eight minutes. Holy, sh I can't tell a story. I can't tell a short story. <sighs> and we're hugging and we're praying and he lets go. I let go and I, I felt like 15 minutes. It wasn't. It was probably three minutes. I don't know. It, it was a long time. It was way too long to be doing that in his office. I leave the room, I go back to my dorm room. I know that I'm that I that I'm in with this dude. But uh I feel all kind of creepy. Uh but in a like I've always I've always been me, so like I have such confidence about who I am and I have a lot of confidence about how I handle myself. So it does, it, 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 he, I was never intimidated. It was more of like, I'm just going to kind of let this roll because if something weird happened, I wouldn't, I would have stopped him. I would have fucking, you know, I would make, I, I just, I just don't have any fear of those things. I just kind of go through them and, you know, whatever. So I get back in my dorm room, nine minutes and 39 seconds. We are going to have to go for another 10 minute session here, ladies and gentlemen. So... Now the battery's flashing. So, I'm in my dorm room, and a couple days goes by, and, and I am still trying to figure out what in the hell happened back in his office. And it was kind of comical to me. It, honestly, it was kind of comical. Uh, just because of the way I am and the way I, you know, handle myself, like I said, I, you know, it didn't freak me out. It was just comical, but I, I just wasn't really sure that I was ready to talk about it. I didn't want, I, I just assumed, you know, he's just a nice guy, a really nice guy. And I, if I say something, you know, it's going to be like, oh, he's the man of God. I mean, that's, you know what I mean? And I, I was like, okay, whatever. Anyway... I finally tell a couple of my roommates. Uh, we had I stayed in the dormitory on the campus, and I had three roommates. I could tell you some stories about Bible college, about both Bible college. I could tell you so many stories. Of course, there's never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Not right now, right? Not right here, not right now. So I tell my roommates. Uh, about, I, you know, I kind of pull them together and I'm like, now look, I, I got to tell something, tell you guys something. <laughs> you can't tell anybody. <laughs> I tell them the whole story. And, and, and normally when I tell this story, you know, one-on-one -on -one for whatever reason, because it's a fun story to tell, the best part of the story is I hug people 
when I'm telling the story. So I, I made like the guys in the room, one of the guys, I picked one of the guys in the room and I said, now stand up. After I finished singing, he did this to me and I, I grab him and I hug him and I just hold him real close. And I breathe like, <laughs> I breathe like right in their ear. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and they're like, they keep trying to let go of me, but I won't let go of them. Because when you can feel it, it, it changes things. Like you should get up right now and hug somebody like I'm talking about. Someone that doesn't expect it. And No, I'm kidding. So, I tell them the story and they say, Paul, you're not going to believe this, but there is another guy on campus telling the exact same story. I'm like, I have got to meet this guy. So his friends and my friends arrange a meeting in the cafeteria. And he, you know, uh, is a you know, good looking guy, dark haired guy, almost my exact same build and shape and size and everything. And we hit it off. We laughed our asses off. We laughed our asses off and became best friends. Well, I mean, not best friends, but, you know, we, we became very good friends. Uh, best friends as in an exclusive exclusive relationship. No, best friends as in to this day, he's still a big part of, of my life and, and that kind of thing. Absolutely. I love him. I love him so much. He and his, his beautiful wife and his family, they're just wonderful, wonderful people. Even though he is a UPC pastor, blah, they do a lot of good work for a lot of people. So do most of the Christians that I know. Despite some of their ideas, they're good people. The camera filled up. The card filled up. I had to dump the card onto my computer. I put a pizza in the oven. I'm going to be up all night anyway. So we have this connection and, you know, we're, we're, you know, we see Lanny, Lanny Wolf every day all the time in school and, you know, and, uh, you know, I, he, I don't know if he's, you know, molested, you know, little boys and, and did terrible things. I don't know. I have no idea that he's ever done anything wrong. I know he's been accused of having some relations with, with, with guys at the college, but, uh, you know, I mean, they, if they were in school, they were, they were, they were old enough to know better. And if they didn't talk about it, you know, maybe, maybe because he was the teacher and he was in a position of authority and, if he did any of that stuff, I don't, what I'm saying is he didn't do any of that to me. Uh, except when we slept together, that, that, that's what I'm getting to. Um, Lanny, I love you. Lanny even contacted me a few years ago. He was in the short north, believe it or not, when I had my store. And he has a relative that is a friend of mine, totally by coincidence, but it, it's just uh, someone I grew up with is uh, his nephew. And he's like, hey, Lanny Wolf knows you have a store in the short north. And, and he stopped by and he left a letter for me on the with the person running my store at the time, an art gallery candle shop thing. It closed because the building was sold. It's a long story. The business didn't fail. I didn't leave it. It kind of left me and I let it go. Um, but... Uh, He left me a letter, you know, and and uh, and 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 I, I called him. He left his number on there, and we chatted for a few minutes. And I did. I, I confronted him. I said, Lanny, I said, you know, this is all funny, you know, little chit chat stuff. I said, but I, I have some questions for you that I would really like to answer to. And I was just going to ask him in a very sincere, honest way. You know, you came out, you know, and 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 how was your life, and what are you doing, and. How did it affect you? And because I don't have any, you know, any bad feelings towards him. As a matter of fact, I kind of pity him, to be honest with you. Not because of the things he probably did wrong, but because of the reasons that he, the, 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 the secrecy and the, you know, I don't know. Maybe he's a terrible person. I don't know. I just don't think so. I don't know. Anyway, my friend and I have this bond because we both got hugged by Lanny Wolf. And we're both in the choir. He's a really, this guy's a really talented singer, songwriter. He's actually very successful. It's a long story. He's, 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 he and I ended up living together. Oh Lord, that doesn't sound right in Nashville. We've had a wonderful friendship throughout the years. Um, all because of Lanny Wolf. All because of Lanny Wolf. So we, we both get hugged. 
So fast forward a, a month or two goes by, school's going on, Lanny Wolf gets, uh, he writes the song More Than Wonderful, Sandy Patty, Lauren O'Harris, turn it into a big giant hit. For he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He's more, because that's how Lauren O'Harris sings, wonderful, da da da, he goes beyond, ba da da da. And, uh, you know, everybody sang it in the 80s that was in churches. Every every church, everybody, because you know, it's, it's a duet, and it's beautiful, beautiful song. He wins this gold album thing, and they invite him to Nashville, Tennessee, to go accept his gold record award. You know, like the record company was throwing a big, you know, gold record party or whatever for Sandy Patty and Lauren O'Harris, who, if you got to understand, Sandy Patty is famous, famous. I mean, she's been probably on Letterman and Leno and I don't know. She's It's back in the 80s, but she was the queen of gospel music for, like, maybe she still is. And that's where I wanted to be. So I was, I, when he said that he was going to go meet, you know, and be at this record deal, and I'm thinking, well, I'm good. That's what I want to be. I want to have a record label. And I want to be, and, and so he tells us, hey, I'm getting ready to go accept this award. And he, you know, he tells us, and, and, and my buddy and I, uh, uh, we said, well, can we go? And he kind of looked at us, he kind of laughed, and he's like, well, no, I mean I'm flying up there. We're in Mississippi, and this was in that the award ceremony was in Nashville. He's like, I'm. I think he said, I think he said I'm flying up there, and uh, you know, no, you. Yeah. He's like, but if you wanted to come, I mean, if you if you showed up there, you'd have a place to stay. <laughs> so, not putting two and two together. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't really think about what what he was setting up. Possibly. Um, so he says, yeah, you know, I mean, he didn't invite us. He didn't, you know, it, it, we invited ourselves and he just, yeah, if you, if that, you sure, I'll, you guys can go to the presentation with me. We'll all go together. You can stay. Now here's a, he had to have been a 50 year old man. Maybe he's a 40. I don't know how old he was. And we were, you know, 19 probably. It would be strange for me to let a couple of boys tag along on something like that, you know, was, you know. But it did, honestly, from my perspective, I was so grateful. I was excited. And my friend and I, um, uh, we, we, he, uh, we, we got in his car, literally like with that, like I think that within like the, a few hours or the following morning or something, and we started driving from uh, uh, Jackson, Mississippi to Nashville, Tennessee. And we show up, and sure enough, we go, we set through this big award presentation. He gets this album. We're like right there with all these stars, and you know, our, you know, everything, you know, we are having access to everything we wanted to be and do. And I don't remember, I'm sure we went out to dinner or something. Honestly, I don't remember a lot of the details other than we end up in his hotel room. And, well, I mean, there were, we had no other place to stay, and we weren't going to drive back in the middle of the night. And I kind of look at my buddy, and he looks at me, and Lanny starts undressing. Now, he, he gets down to his underwear, and I swear to God, I swear to God, I have a picture of Lanny Wolf in his underwear in that hotel room. I have, to this day, I still have a photo of him. I don't know why I took it. I don't know why he let me took it. He kind of laughed, chuckled. It had to have been with some disposable camera or something. I don't remember. It wasn't video. But I took a picture of him, and he's kind of, like, trying to cover himself. He's, like, in his underwear, and he's taking his clothes off. And I'm sure the battery's flashing. I'm sure my pizza's almost done. I, 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 but, okay, this is the end of the story. He takes his clothes, you know, he just gets ready for bed like anybody would. Nothing unusual. I think my friend and I did the same thing. I think we both, you know... Lanny laid right in the middle of the bed, and we laid on either side of him. And I remember, like, laying there, staring up at the ceiling, going, what in the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> My poor buddy's on the other side, and I don't know what he's got himself into. But honestly, I, you know, I, I, I've traveled with, you know, because I was in a band, and, I mean, me and my buddies, we, we lay around and 
pile up in a bed, in a floor, in a cloth. I mean, it, in a car, in a wherever. I mean, I, I was just, you know, there wasn't anything. It was no big deal to me, but because he was an older man and I didn't really know him, and it just started to feel a little strange. And I just remember laying there going, I just want to go to sleep and wake up in the morning. And that's it. And that's what I did. I went to sleep. He, as far as I know, never made any. He was never inappropriate in any way, shape, or form. He didn't make little jokes. He didn't do anything inappropriate. The reason that I have defended him a little in, in this video is because of that reason. I, if, if whatever happened with other people, perhaps there was, you know, maybe some blame to go around, and, you know, or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know that anything ever did. I just know he loved his wife. You know, I know he lost his ministry, and, he, and he, he, I think I think he lost his marriage, and, you know, a few years after that, when things went down, it, you know, that kind of thing. But he didn't do anything, you know, and my buddy says he didn't do anything, and, and to, we're best buddies to this day, or very good friends to this day, and I don't know where Lanny Wolf is. It would be hilarious if somebody that knew him sent him a link to this video, um, and... Uh, I would probably be one of the only young men he slept with two bit, two bit. that didn't regret it later. <laughs> Everybody do that. Off like a rocket and now you can't stop it. Jan and Steve made us all believe. You can post a video, you can be the star. Millions might watch it no matter who you are. Now the world will see it and see it is believe it. Or not, but you can bet we're never leaving It's power to the people Cause I got the power My 15 minutes just turn into an hour Revolution's everywhere I can smell the fear Media moves Look out cause we're here Changing the world in a whole new way Everybody stand up and say